Okay, so in this video, I am going to take you through a walkthrough of Recruitly, which is basically a recruiting software uh, slash CRM that you can sign up to if you uh, run an outsourcing agency like us, or if you um, are a recruiter, you can use this software as well. So basically, when you first sign up and you log in, it's going to bring you to this um, homepage here, which has these super helpful, sorry, let me just move my face, has these super helpful um, step-by-step tick boxes that you need to go through to make sure that your Recruitly is completely set up before you go ahead and start using it. So um, you need to add in your business details, um, authorize email sending. I'm not sure why, but for some of ours, it says that we haven't done it yet, even though um, we have. So as you can see, like we have our um, authorized email there. Um, so it should say done, but anyway, um, that's fine. Um, then configure SMS sender. So you have to pay extra um, for the SMS um, option if you want to send uh, text messages to candidates or leads. Uh, we actually use a different platform for that. Um, so we set up some Zapier links and stuff like that. Um, so that it does it and we didn't use the Recruitly SMS feature, but if you want to, you can add it there. Um, you can register your different email addresses. Um, so as you can see, we have three here. We've got just our hello one, our HR one, and then Damien's. Um, if we go back, uh, you can connect your mailbox. So basically if you are talking with a lead or um, talking with a candidate, uh, Recruitly tracks the conversation um, for emails when you connect your mailbox um, and you can send emails straight from in Recruitly, which is really handy um, and it saves a lot of time because you can message multiple people at one time. Um, so would definitely recommend doing that. Um, you can connect your calendar so that your appointments show up in your calendar. Um, if you want to be using LinkedIn, um, if you've signed up for LinkedIn, uh, the recruiter software, um, you can add the Chrome extension as well, or the LinkedIn extension, sorry. Create your email signature and then add your email templates. So this is a really cool feature, um, basically with your candidates um, and with your leads, you're able to send uh, or create these email templates so that when you are going in to communicate with them, you can just send a template and just add in their name. And it's very easy, it saves so much time and it's fantastic. So I would definitely s recommend, um, as you can see here, like we have a few different versions of follow-ups just um, from different team members that we have and their style of copywriting. Um, and then we have um, the emails for our recruiting team, um, like the application requirements and scheduled interviews, all this sort of stuff. So I uh, would definitely recommend setting up email templates as well. So that is basically um, your home screen. I'm not sure what it would look like once we clear all of these ticks um, because we haven't cleared it yet. And... We only signed up recently, so we do, well, we're never going to integrate the SMS stuff. So I don't know if it will ever change what it looks like. Sorry, my internet is so slow, um, but maybe one day it will. Okay, so we're back on the homepage. Um, from here... I guess the next steps or the next place that you would want to explore is the CRM section. We'll just work our way down the side here. So we've got the CRM. We have, um, let me just actually move this across a little bit because my loom thingy is in the way. So we have leads here um, and you can look at these in a list form or a pipeline. Uh, so I'll show you what the pipeline looks like. So this is what our pipeline uh, looks like. We have multiple, you can add multiple pipelines if you want to. Um, so we have different people that are working on this at all times and that's why we have different pipelines. And so then as you can see, we have all of our different stages here. 
Um, we actually set it up so that all of our stages are in the leads pipeline, but there is another option where you can upload uh, opportunities. So basically once a lead in here, let's see, for example, um, if we click on this, So when you click on a lead, you can open it and this is what it looks like. Um, you can move, you can basically just click on these arrows if you wanna move the pipeline stages, you can add all of your notes, um, overviews, You've, you can upload files, different tasks, add them to sequences. There's so much you can do here, but basically if you, <laughs> sorry, there's a <laughs> tugboat outside in the river making a lot of noise if you can hear that. Um, if you want to move a lead into an op into the opportunities pipeline, uh, what you just need to do here is click convert, and then click opportunity, um, and then you can obviously add in all of these details: opportunity title, um, the type of job, description. Um, you can add the value, the start date, skills, pipeline, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, we like to have our pipeline sort of just in one spot. So that's why we don't really use the opportunities feature. Um, but it is something that we are looking at introducing in the future because with because we've only just started using this, we're sort of still getting used to the system. Um, but if we start to use the opportunities feature, then it will allow us to get reporting on um, the value and the number of sales and all of that sort of stuff. So it will be useful. It's just something we're not doing right now, um, but something worth noting as well. So that's basically here. Um, when you come down to this second little fire symbol, um, you can click on opportunities. Um, and you can view them as a list or in the pipeline. As you can see, ours is pretty much empty except for a test. Um, but yeah, then we have a list of all of the contacts. Uh, this is for our leads. Um, so it should load a whole bunch of contacts in here. Yeah, so there we go. Um, lots of contacts added in there. Um, and then it also, you can uh, sort of break it down by companies as well. So obviously one company could have um, multiple contacts. It could also have uh, multiple positions that they're hiring for. Um, and so you can add all of that information into, as you can see here, like opportunities, jobs, um, CV shared, um, interviews, placements, all of that sort of stuff. So um, this is all logged under the um, company section, which is great because it just gives you a snapshot as to what, um, what you've done so far for that particular company. Now, um, the ATS is the uh, recruiting, like hiring section of it. I don't actually know what ATS stands for, but anyway. Um, <laughs> So ATS, obviously we have the candidates here. These are all of the candidates that um, apply for your jobs. Uh, when you open a candidate, you can click add to job, you can email, you can schedule them into an event. As you can see here, there are so many different things that you can do. So you can add them to a contact, um, link a contact, upload their CV, like so many different things. Um, place candidate, SMS, um, let me just move my face so you can see the rest. Resync emails, so much stuff. Um, and you can also add in a lot of detail into their um, contact fields as well. So we don't have too much stuff, obviously, because we have just started using the system, but progressively over time, um, we'll be adding in like links to their social media, um, their mobile phone number, availability, um, the source where we found them, their address, all that sort of stuff. Um, that's something that we will be able to add in eventually as well. Now, next in the ATS section um, is the actual jobs. So for us, um, I guess one of the biggest benefits of starting to use uh, a recruiting software, because we hadn't used one before, we just used a project management system, um, was actually being able to find um, candidates so much more quickly because they're all in this system and they're filed 
um, we added tags based on their skill set. So um, we added tags like for social media manager or um, SEO expert or web developer or whatever it is, we added tags for them. And so now we can really quickly find and send candidates to the clients. Um, so we don't have to actually, there's some Sometimes we don't even have to post a job description online because we already have candidates that we know would be a perfect fit for that position. And then we just send those candidates to the clients. Um, but if you want to add job descriptions, as you can see, you can add them here. Um, it's super detailed in terms of what you can do. So um, if you go up here and you go new job, manual input, you'll be able to see all of the information that you can put in. So um, we've got the contact, um, job location, and then all of the information about the job. So job title, job application template, start date, job level, sector, industry, skills, description, short description, full description. So there's a lot of details that, um, that you can add in the job section, which is fantastic. Um, now, you can also integrate it with your website. That's something that we haven't gotten around to yet. It's uh, on the to-do list. Basically, you can have a job board on your website. And so every time, excuse me, every time you upload a new job in Recruitly, it adds it to your website and people can apply directly through your website. Alternatively, um, if you, like us, just haven't had time to do that yet, um, you can get people to apply through the link. Um, so you can share these links directly with people and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, and so then obviously it's got our logo, our name, the um, position title, um, it's got all of the requirements and then people can hit apply. And then they upload all of their information into here, which is fantastic because then it just adds it straight into Recruitly. Um, so that's what the job uh, ads look like if you share the link directly with people. Um, so that's pretty much the job section. You can um, place ads for your jobs. So on LinkedIn, maybe on Seek, um, or it, I guess it depends on where you are in the world, but there are paid platforms where you can post jobs, right? Um, we don't do that. We use free ones, so we haven't um, gone into this part yet. But if you promote your jobs, um, if you're a recruiter and you promote them with ads, you can um, integrate it. I might actually just show you because you can integrate a whole um, variety of job uh, listing sites, I guess. So you can basically choose, um, uh, hold on. So basically if you wanted to make an advert, you would just click new up here and then campaign. Um, and that would make a campaign, um, for a paid, um, ad board. Then in here, we have a list of all of the interviews. So as you can see here, these are scheduled interviews um, that we have had from our HR team, which is great to have it all just tracked in one place. Um, and then we've got placements. So these are basically um, positions that you have hired for and placed. Um, so we, as you can see, have not been updating this part, but if you do decide to update it, uh, <laughs> then it will show you the value of all of the placements that you have had um, in your recruiting agency. Now, um, we do have this marketing section as well, so we can send um, campaigns to um, all of the leads that you have. Um, we've got templates for campaigns. We've got uh, lists for your contacts, um, senders. Also, if I, uh, let me just zoom this window out because there's other things under here. Yeah, senders. Uh, we don't really use this section because we already use um, Active Campaign and that's integrated with our website and like everything's, all of our email sequences are already built out and it would be such a pain to change it over um, to use this software. But if you've never signed up for um, 
uh, email marketing services, you could definitely go ahead and use um, the native services in Recruitly if you wanted to. Um, and then they also have this help section down here, which is really great. Um, when we first signed up, they didn't have um, a help section. Uh, sorry, they didn't have these help guides or the training. Um, they just had the getting started, but now they have help guides. Um, so you can see here, it gives you sort of like a screenshots and walkthroughs. And then they also have training, which is great because it's basically just like um, training portals on how to use the system. Um, obviously, this is a new user training, which um, you can watch. And as you can see, coming soon, they've got the administrator training as well, which is going to be great once they release that. Um, they also have a chat to support. Um, they're super, super helpful. I, the thing that I love about Recruitly is they're very open to suggestions and ideas um, on how we can improve the system. Um, they usually do take a little bit to reply, maybe between um, 12 to 24 hours to reply sometimes on their help desk. So just keep that in mind when you do have a help ticket. Um, if it's urgent, uh, you can just email them and they reply a lot faster. Um, so that's their help option. And then obviously up here, we have all of this um, as well. So starting from this side, this is just like, uh, you can add KPIs in here, reporting, user notes, your business profile settings, all of that general admin -y type stuff. Um, they have a section here, what's new, which is super cool. It basically gives you um, updates on what they have been updating in the system, which I love notifications, um, reminders, so you can set tasks for yourself and that's where your reminders go to. Oh, yep, so there's the task option and the, the reminders will come in there or for your calendar as well. Um, yeah, you've got a calendar here so you can um, set appointments and you'll get reminders and stuff as well. Um, this is your email inbox because it's all integrated with your Gmail. Um, so you can check your emails. Um, email sequences, if you want to create email sequences for your leads, um, that is the section to do it. Um, web form submissions, um, that is basically people that fill in your forms um, for your jobs. Um, we've got the job application, so you can just have a quick look at all of the applicants that are coming in. Um, the pipeline for all of your candidates, um, sharing candidates, and then dashboards. I might quickly show dashboards. I don't think we have them set up properly, um, but again, on our to-do list, ah, damn it. Okay. When they did the walkthrough with us in like Recruitly did the walkthrough, their dashboard was fully set up properly. Maybe the CRM dashboard. Uh, no. Okay. Their CRM dashboards are set up properly and they look super cool once you set them up. Um, and it's a really great snapshot as to what you can actually do in the system. Obviously we haven't fully uh, dived into all of the areas of Recruitly yet because we only signed up recently. Um, so we haven't set up the dashboards yet, but um, definitely something that I would worth, uh, that would be worth doing as well. So uh, yeah, that's basically a sort of general walkthrough slash overview of Recruitly. I would highly recommend it. It's great. It's super fast, very uh, user-friendly, pretty intuitive to use. It's not clunky um, and the support team are really great. They're happy to get on calls with you if you have questions or concerns. Um, they help you via email or whatever you need. So if you're thinking about Recruitly, definitely go ahead and sign up. Um, I will try and find a link, I think. Surely I'll have one in my profile somewhere um, to sign up um, through, the, through uh, me. Um, and so that you can sign up that way. Um, I'll put the link in the description of this video. And then if you did enjoy this video, please go ahead, uh, make sure to hit that like, like button and the subscribe button um, so that you get new notifications as to when we put out more tutorial videos like this. And until the next video, I'll see you later. Bye.